coming. Good room, sir. Good room. Thank you, sir. Yaks Chaudhary. Yes, from Twitter days. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, you stayed in village for some time? Yes, sir. For my majority of my life. Uh, how many years? Sir, today around uh, 20 to 22 years, sir. Uh, where did you study your plus two? Amroha itself, sir. How far is Amroha from your village? So it's almost six to seven kilometers. Only six to seven. Yes. Okay, you like village? Hello. Tell me the difference between village life and city life. Positives and negatives. Sir, in village life, we have community life where people cooperate on different events like festivals, on the marriages, etc. While in cities, there is a little less community life. Secondly, the environment is very uh, nice in village in terms of greeneries, trees, etc. But on the negative side, uh, the lack of infrastructure in terms of roads, in terms of uh, good schools, and in terms of internet. So these are the negatives of a village, sir. Which are there in cities? Hmm? Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> uh, you know, in villages, some games are played because of lack of facilities. Can you tell me two, three games which usually played in the villages? So one is Kho Kho and uh, other is, I would say, the Gali Cricket. Mm -hmm. And the people also engage in running, but there is no, there are lack of infrastructure like stadiums, etc. People run on the road side. Gili Danda also? Gili Danda also. You know Gili Danda? Yes. Yeah. And some, if there is some uh, river bed and all, then wrestling, Kabaddi. So Kabaddi is there, but Kabaddi in there. my village, wrestling is not uh, there. Sir. Okay. <clears throat> Anganwadis. How many Anganwadis will be there in our country? And government has very, not government, even Supreme Court has passed some orders, favorable orders for them. Sir, so I am not sure about the exact number of Anganwadis in India. Hmm. Very recently, Supreme Court has given some judgment about payment, payment of gratuity or something. Sorry, sir, I am not aware no of this. I will read on it. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, our Prime Minister is visiting a few countries in next two days or so. Yes, sir. Can you tell me which are those countries? So these countries are from Europe, the three, four countries from the Nordic, Nordic area and also France and Germany. France, Germany? Uh, this, and these Denmark. Are Denmark. Thank you, sir. Okay. <clears throat> uh, See, this mask has been creating a lot of problem hmm? and disposal also has been a big issue. Hmm? Yes, sir. Some studies have been done that if these are used in uh, RCC, concrete formation, eh? we will be able to consume more, RCC will be strong and consumption of cement will be less. You studied that somewhere? Sir, Some research I, report is there. Sir, I have not studied this research but the Fibers in the concrete increases the strength of the concrete, sir. There is a term called fiber concrete, which is which is more tensile strength as compared to the normal concrete, sir. Mm. But then how it will save something? Some carbon footprints will it save? In what way it can save carbon footprints? Sir, we need to provide enough uh, uh, enough facilities for the incineration of the uh, mask if these are consumed no, no. if these masks are used in your rcc how it is going to save some carbon footprints so that i am not sure okay uh, universal account number yes sir. you have any idea sir uh, this is used for the pension and other purposes sir the universal pension? account number this far UFPO that uh, provident fund. Yes. A provident fund. Yes. So, what is the function of this, and how it was being operated previously? So, the purpose is uh, that the people don't uh, use two different numbers for the same job, and if we have universal Not same job, same job or any job. So, for the any job, hmm. the universal account number is same. If people uh, move from one job to another, the universal account number remains same. And the PF fund is accumulated in that uh, account only, sir. Okay. Yes. Yes. 
um, what is happening in Uttar Pradesh these days? So there has been a heat wave in Uttar Pradesh recently, and okay. it has uh, caused harms to the uh, wheat crop in Uttar Pradesh. Sir. What else? Sir? Sorry, Any sir? new laws being implemented? Uh, How is the economy doing? So there have been issues in the economy due to the COVID, and uh, recently the government has imposed uh, some rules regarding the loudspeakers also, sir. What are the rules that has been imposed? Sir, we have this noise pollution control rules 2000 by the central government. The government recently ordered the administrations of the district to strictly enforce these rules uh, so that the loudspeakers are registered as well as the limit on the decibel uh, value of the noise. is. What oh, is the limit on the decibel value? Sir, this is uh, 55 for the residential areas. Uh, another I am not sure of. Sir. Is there also a time limit? Sir, time limit is also there, sir. What is the time limit? Sir, I think this is from 10 p.m. to uh, 6 a.m., sir. 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. 10 p.m. to 6 a.m., it should not be used. It should not be used, sir. Yes. Should we bring this restriction in election rallies also? Because I think that's another point of time when loudspeakers are used extensively. So this would be a nice step, sir. If we uh, control the noise, noise level of the election rallies, sir. Okay. You are a student of sociology. Yes, sir. How has the institution of family and uh, marriage changed in the last uh, few decades? So there have been many changes in the institution of marriage. Uh, the aim of the marriage has changed in the sense that earlier it was uh, considered to be a very uh, considered to be a thing that should not be changed. The divorce was uh, treated as a taboo, but now it has been changed. Another change has been the uh, the choice of partners. Nowadays, the love marriages are more prevalent. Earlier, the, the earlier the arranged marriages were more prevalent, sir. So, in terms of family, the more uh, the more liberal nature of the families, where women also have say in the decision making, this is one change uh, that has been in the family level. Uh, also, sir, the uh, the say of children in the decisions of family is also increasing, sir. Can you elaborate on that? How is the say of the children increasing? So earlier there was the concept of karta in the joint family, but now the emergence of uh, nuclear families has increased their say in the sense that earlier the karta used to impose the functions as well as the financial matters to the different uh, members of the family. But now since the nuclear family is there, the say of women and children as well is increasing, sir. Okay. Uh, you have a master's and uh, bachelor's in uh, civil engineering and also you have done something on product design. Yes, sir. Can you tell me what you have done on product design? So, uh, I had a minor in product design, which had one subject every semester, while the major in civil engineering had around four subjects per semester. So, we have read about the ergonomics, the basic concepts of pro product design, the basic processes of the product design, and how to test these uh, products. So, these things were covered in the product so design. So, if you are designing a product, what are the uh, factors that you take into consideration? Sir, first factor would be the need of the users. We need to study what exactly users want. We have to take, uh, we have to uh, do some surveys and uh, get to the exact needs of the customers. So secondly, we have to, uh, we have to make product in terms of that should be ergonomically sound. It should, it should be perfect with the human body, sir. Thirdly, we have to uh, go to various uh, iterations of the product when we make again iterations iterations so that we can refine our product to suit the needs of the users sir. one of the factors which is aggravating heat in urban areas is the extreme use of concrete yes sir. as a civil engineer how, how do you look at this and what are the alternatives to this sir as a civil engineer the grass crete is a good solution to the normal concrete grass crete is a type of concrete which uses the greenery also there are squares of concrete and in which the soil is filled and we can grow the grass there this can be used in the pavements in malls and in residential areas also this was this would also enhance the percolation of the water as well as greenery sir apart Continue. apart apart from this uh, more trees more parks should be are desirable in the urban areas sir if the uh, heat condition continues and this becomes a norm, what changes do you expect in uh, the construction design style and everything? 
so there would be problems in the curing of the concrete we would need more and more water if temperature goes on increasing and secondly sir uh, the nature of concrete and its curing also changes with the temperature so these things we have to keep in mind going forward when the climate changes and the temperature rises so okay uh, delhi belongs to which zone of uh, earthquake sir it belongs to zone 3 3 or 4 3 sir how does the construction approach uh, change from zone to zone uh, with respect to earthquakes sir this uh, the different zones define the uh, earthquake hazard to the that are possible to a building so when going for the high earthquake zone areas we need to provide some specific measures to the buildings for example we have to provide more ductility to the structures in terms of more uh, reinforcement and also we have to provide base isolation to the buildings so that the vibration from the ground do not uh, uh, do not get into the building and uh, and uh, destruct it apart from it tuned mass dampers can also be used in major earth earthquake hazard areas when we go to the uh, lower earthquake zones the need of reinforcement is less the need of columns and beams is also less and their size also decreases sir what kind of answers do you write on board so i majorly write answers related to society and the current events contemporary can you tell me the last question that you have responded to sir last question i responded that what is the major problem of youth in the world sir what was your response sir in my view i wrote that the social media the distraction that the social media is creating is one of the major issues that so social is media is a bad thing it's something that we should not have so sir social media is desirable so it is a fantastic thing where we can we can uh, express our views but the distraction is it has been creating and the negative content on the social media is harmful sir okay. do you think uh, uh, cora as a platform has declined the quality of questions and answers have declined over the years See, over the years, the number of users have been increasing on Quora, but the quality of discussions and the type of answers, if you see, has it declined or improved? So earlier, very good uh, writers like Balaji Vishwanathan, Sian Karnan, they were very uh, active on the Quora, but nowadays, our uh, good quality writers have been declining, sir, and their activity has also been declining on the Quora, sir. Mr. Yaksh, sir, who was Yaksh? What is the meaning of Yaksh? sir in mythology yakshas are the protecting deities of natural resources like forest lakes rivers etc and also of treasury they are mentioned in the literature of jainism buddhism and hinduism so as well as in southeast asian countries temples they are also found at the gates of the temples sir uh if we go to mahabharata there is a specific story about yaksha prashna so in that story if i ask you who was yaksh sir yaksha in mahabharata he was guarding a lake from where the yudhishthir went on to fetch the drinking water any connection between yaksh and yudhishthir i beg your pardon sir any connection between yaksh and yudhishthir sorry sir i am not aware about the connection uh, can you recollect some of the questions he asked yudhishthir or pandavas yes sir so you uh, yaksh asked yudhishthir that what is more heavier than earth then the yudhishthir replies that mother is heavier than earth then uh, yaksh asked him that who what is uh, higher than the sky then yudhishthir replies that father is higher than the sky then yaksh asked what is i am asking more i am asking you just kim asharyam so i am not aware asharya asharya kya hai that was one of the question so i am not aware okay uh, you mentioned social media yes what is the difference between social media and traditional media say newspapers or television news channels so social media uses the internet and online platforms to or disseminate the information and news what is the difference traditional media also uses social media and all these platforms all the newspapers they are on these platforms so what is the difference so i am not sure about the exact difference sir. okay 
life is a marathon not a sprint you are a runner yes a sprint so as a sprint runner what's your comment on this life is a marathon not a sprint sir marathon is a long race 42.1 to uh, 42 point something uh, kilometers while a sprint is 100 and 200 meters so life is, is a marathon in the sense that there are many problems in our life we have to uh, come over those uh, in sprint sir we use very intense activity but in life as a marathon we have to continuously uh, perform well in terms of consistency and perseverance sir, which is also required in the marathon you have studied sociology yes tell me uh, should india allow same sex marriage so india should allow the same sex marriage sir. as a, a student of sociology how do you see if india allows this to impact the society what kind of impact we will have on our society sir there will be there would be reaction from the societal side the orthodox section of the society would criticize it this is first second is the uh, there would be empowerment of people because they would be able to assert their rights from as current as currently they are not allowed to have uh, same sex marriage so people would be more able to express their views and there would be more equality in the society as well as the institution of marriage would undergo changes because in heterogeneous uh, family we have male and female and there is also sexual division of labor but in same sex marriage there would be equal division of labor and this would also empower the different sections like women if we have same sex marriage sir. what about procreation so procreation would be a difficulty but with the rise of technologies like ivf etc this can be overcome sir and the by through adoption also Uh, Delhi High Court has been hearing a case regarding marital rape. Do you think marital rape should be criminalized? Sir, it should be criminalized, sir, because it is hampering the rights of the women. It is leading to their exploitation. But there would be some administrative challenges in enforcing the marital rape, sir. Uh, what is the role of NGOs in society? so ngos provide welfare services to the citizens as uh, where the government is not able to provide adequate social services ngo fulfills those do poles and bridge those gaps sir so In, why is the government after ngos lots of ngos are being banned their foreign funding is being choked so this is because of the problems from the ngo side they are not properly following the regulations and the rules of the fcra as well as uh, according to a report a uh, majority of the ngos in india are not filing income tax returns on time sir there have been issues in the regulations sir. okay my last question what do you mean by judicial review so it means the assessment of the laws and administrative steps by the uh, by the judiciary uh, by checking its constitution constitutionality sir thank you So, Yaksh, what's Amroha famous for? Ma'am, currently Amroha is famous for its its dholaks and mangoes. Okay. So, the mango season has started in Amroha. It is going to start now. Very When? soon in Amroha. When from? Ma'am, it is start around June. Okay. Are these mangoes also being exported or? Yes, ma'am. These are exported. Also. These are exported. So, yes. is there anything which is left for Indian consumption, or everything is exported? No, no, ma'am. Uh, A little part is exported, but majority of the part remains in India only for the consumption of the local people. Okay, but I think there was some issue going on with the exports of mangoes recently. It was in news Ma'am, about I'm, the quality and other stuffs, compliances. Any information on that? Man, I am not sure about the recent development, but there have been bans on export of Indian mangoes to the Europe because mm. of phytosanitary measures. Yeah. Okay. Okay, coming to civil engineering. Um, when you said that you were into product design, so if your product is say building, then how would you ensure about the quality of that building from the safety point of view? Ma'am, product design as a discipline complement 
the civil engineering part mein one the engineers uh, talk in terms of the structural stability its strength etc while product design as a discipline it emphasizes on the interaction between the product and the consumers on the other hand so both the disciplines complement each other in ter in terms of building when we see it through the perspective of uh, product design we see that uh, the uh, the size of the room would be how much the length of the columns and the height of the columns would be how much but that would also uh, in you know somewhere uh, uh, touch upon the quality aspect also there has to be balance between the design and the safety of the structure as well yes so sometimes there could be instances where the design is not uh, you know goes well in terms of you know the safety of the structure so how do you balance that out so are there any protocols are there any parameters when we have indian standards codes for the construction of the buildings mm -hmm. but when there is a contradiction between the safety and the design aspect mm -hmm. i think the priority should be given to the safety of the building so you must have heard about this gurgaon building case where the floors fell you are familiar with that yes ma'am so where uh, you know we have the builders must have gone wrong or the construction company must have gone wrong have you studied about it what went wrong there uh, ma'am i am not aware about the exact details of the case ma'am okay but the way it fell as a civil engineer you must be having some kind of idea that yes, what could have gone wrong ma'am from the maintenance side there were problems in that specific case the residents have been complaining about the cracks in the structures which from the builders have not uh, have not focused on and when it collapsed when the uh, when upper floor collapsed the lower floor or could not no but then why were those cracks appearing that is what my question is ma'am it can be uh, it they, it can be because of many factors like give us some examples ma'am for example if uh, the proper cement and aggregate ratio is not there in the concrete it also leads to cracks if uh, the proper nominal length nominal depth of the reinforcement is not provided in the columns and beams it also leads to cracks ma'am what about the quality of water quality of cement any are yes, these also some of the factors yes ma'am quality of uh, cement and water also mentioned so also, how do you test water quality whether it is right for constructing that building or not ma'am we const we conduct some test based on the ph value of the water are these mandatory uh, ma'am when... that i am not sure okay fine okay india is uh, a country with one of the highest populations and when you go on the road there are walkers and now that we are in the process of building Uh, highways expressway high speed roads then don't you think that uh, we are doing at the cost of pedestrians ma'am pedestrians should be provided but uh, the national highways and expressways are also very needed in our country so there should be a balance between the space provided to the pedestrian and also to the highways and the roads so can you give us one example where this you know balance has been made and the pedestrians uh, security also and their convenience is also kept in mind while designing a road or a expressway or a highway maybe from up ma'am i am not aware about the okay it's not a problem okay if you have the option of changing one thing in the history of mankind what would that be and why ma'am i would say the way the socialization has been of the humans i would like to change it the kind of stratification that we have in our society in terms of uh, women inequality as well as the discrimination among, among different sections of the society this socialization part i would like to change in the history of human kind okay over the period of years uh, with the increase in the size of family how has this impacted the financial health of a household in village with respect to their land since you know up and your area is an agricultural place so how has this impacted ma'am one there has been fragmentation of the land in uh, rural areas the land per capita has been decreasing 
uh, in 2015 agriculture census it was 1.08 hectare per capita it has been reducing as well as uh, as the families in the rural areas are also emphasizing on the education part of the uh, children so it has also lead to some financial strain on the families in rural area okay one last question uh, this is to do with the uh, sdg goals uh, in order to improve our rankings in SDG goals, what all needs to be done as a country? Which are the areas which should be focusing on most? Ma'am, we have to uh, work on two fronts. One is the capability development in our citizens and second is the providing social services from the government side. When we talk about the capability generation, we have to focus on the education, skill development and also reducing the inequality in our society from the government side we need to ensure that the proper facilities for the for the health services for education like primary school secondary school the r d expenditure and also the skill development has to be increased now okay fine thank you